Hello everyone, this is Taryn with Wonderfully Made Handcrafting, and today I'm working on day one of By the Wall for God's newest kit, Follow Me. Now today I'm using some of this seam binding and spraying it down with some Distress Oxides and Distress Spray Stains. I also eventually grab some of that Distress Mica Stain and just color that. I make sure to do it in this little um, Tupperware container that I got at the dollar store, and then I don't have to get my hands too, too dirty, and I also use gloves when I dry so that's the easiest way for me to get this done and then I just rinse out the Tupperware and can use it next time. I'm using the colors Kitsch Flamingo, Spun Sugar and that Distress Mica Stain is in Winterberry and it gives the um, ribbon a nice shine like it almost like a little sparkle to it so that is really fun to use as well. So now I'm just drying it off with my heat tool it dries super fast so it doesn't take that long and then it's ready to go. So now I'm going to move on to these clear stickers. I had this little card that I wanted to use, but I didn't want it to be on a clear sticker. So I'm just gonna paste that down on a piece of paper and fussy cut it out. Now, like I said in yesterday's video, I still want the vintage and antique look without getting it too grungy because this kit is very bright and colorful. And so I am still bringing in some of those neutrals without going too dark. So I have a dictionary page in the back and also this um, tea bag that was just used to back this verse card and to add some texture to the page. And so here I am also distressing the edges of that verse card that you see there. And I'm just going to um, glue these down to the tea bags. I'm gonna do two separate layers. Like you see here, I got a little bit of glue on my tag, but no worries, it's gonna be covered anyhow. So I'll just rip the edges to get that nice um, texture and then we'll move on to more stuff. Now, as you can see here, tea bags are really easy to tear. However, if you want a more precise tear, then you can always wet a paintbrush and make a line on the tea bag and it should tear in a straight line right for you. But I prefer a more natural look and so I'm just tearing the edges. That's actually why I had to put two layers down because by accident I tore a little too close to that verse card, but it's okay because it'll add even more texture to this tag. So now I come to the seam binding. I'm not gonna use the whole um, ribbon that I dyed, but I am going to add a little bit. So I want that to be a frayed look on the edges and then I'm just gonna make little X marks on this ribbon and that will hold it in place. Once the seam binding is all sewn, I will lift up the edges of this verse card so I can kind of tuck it in underneath. I didn't really like the look of it on top of the verse card, but underneath it, I really like it and it just adds another layer to this whole cluster. So that is where that's going to live. And then I'm going to work on this little car. Now I want this car to definitely stand out. It's like my focal piece for this tag. And so I'm actually going to use my scrapbook.com foam tape and just prop up that car with a little bit of that to make it pop. Now since this is just in a tag ring and not in a bible and there's not going to be a lot of weight on this tag ring, I don't have to be that precise with the foam tape. I don't have to get it to all the edges. I know that it's not going to be pressed too much if that makes sense. So I just put those two pieces down and then I'm going to lay this paper piece down before I put the foam taped car on. Now honestly this is basically all I had planned originally for this tag. However once I got to this point I decided I wanted to add the devotional day number on this tag and I will hopefully do that for every one of the um, tags to come. So I decided to take out this caffeinated outliner and I'm going to spell out the number one and then I will use those clear alpha stickers in the pink color to fill those in. And then afterwards I'll come back with the mini tile alphas and just spell out day on top of that. I do have to say that I always attempt at laying these down with just my fingers. However, I do have to tell you that tweezers are really the way to go, especially these specialty curved ones work excellent. Um, so if you have a pair, get them out, even if you know you just have tweezers in your bathroom, it might work a lot better than using your fingers. So now I'm going over to those mini tile alphas. I decide on this light pink one. I'm gonna try to keep this like a light colored um, tag. And so that's why I just decide on that one. And then I am going to come back in with my micron pen and just kind of outline those little boxes that spell out day to make it pop a little bit, especially since I already have um, the one outlined. So I wanna make sure it's cohesive. 
And guys, this is a monumental moment that you get to experience. I have finally graduated out of my first Barely Arts Precision Glue and I moved on to this second glue that I had bought during, um, what was it, the Black Friday special. And I thought for sure I would need one like in the next coming weeks um, with how low I was then. But that little Barely Arts glue just kept on chugging. So um, I do have to say that it was very liquidy. It's been sitting on its side. Um, so I do think that I just need to, you know, shake it up a little bit, which I did at the end of this video. Um, but anyways, other than that, I'm very happy to have a full thing of glue now. So I don't always have to say why I'm squeezing my glue bottle so hard. So anyways, back to this tag. I did take out Nouveau Drops and the scrapbook.com alternative pops of color. Um, I do have to say I like the Nouveau Drops better. The pops of color give like a peak, almost like you're making meringue, um, if you understand that. And so you kind of have to press them down afterwards. So this is what my tag was going to look like, but um, I was helping my um, two oldest kids make birthday cards for their Nana and the Nouveau Drops got smeared as they were drying. So this is stage two. So what I ended up doing was I waited for those Nouveau Drops and Pops of Color to dry. I peeled them off. However, they did peel off some of the paper. So I decided to keep on going. Um, I was thinking of adding some white distress paint to them and I did however it didn't really take but then when I wiped it off I realized that once you add some wetness with this baby wipe to the paper it's going to kind of peel off that first layer of paper and I really liked that and it kind of brought out that white core obviously and then when you add the paint to that then it obviously takes and so I'm just adding paint in those three spots where I've kind of wiped to that white core and then I'm going to add whiteness around the whole edge of this tag to kind of make it um I don't know, lighter and it just kind of brings it all together. Um, and I actually kind of like it. It makes it kind of almost look like I use grit paste around it, which kind of makes the layers kind of meld together. So I paint this on and then I let it dry and I also fussy cut one of the ephemera pieces, one of just the regular florals, and I'm going to place that on the left-hand side and the bottom right-hand side of this card, and that will also kind of bring it together. So I use that Barely Arts glue. Here you'll see how kind of liquidy it is, and I do have to pick it up. Um, like I said, at the end of this video, I did end up shaking it up, and it seems to be working fine. Um, I don't like to waste any of my little excess pieces, so I end up cutting this piece off, and then I also kind of come in and lift up the card so it's kind of coming behind the card in the cluster. So one's on top of the cluster and one's behind all the layers. And that is it guys. I hope you really enjoyed this video. Um, if you haven't yet, you can also follow me over on Instagram at Wonderfully Made Handcrafting. I'll try to link everything I use down below in the description and I hope you have a wonderful day guys. Bye.